Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. Today we're talking about your pictures. Talking about your pictures. And if you want to see your helmets on this show, you got to email them. Picks at greengridiron.com. They can be collectibles, they can be field use, it can be one, it can be ten. Don't matter. Jay's going to give you a score. I'm going to give you a J score. <laughs> Steve's going to talk about the placement of the, the item in the picture, the helmet, mm -hmm. the lighting, the background, all that good stuff. If you're not familiar with this show or what we do here, so we build on this show helmets. We do designing of helmets. We do uh, custom helmets, collectible helmets. We talk about all of the new products that come out that the teams wear. We, you know, at Green Gridiron, we service teams. So we work with NFL, college, all the way down to youth, all over the world, really. Yep. And so we've got our finger on the pulse of all of the little pieces that go on these helmets. And it's far more than people who don't know would think. It's very true, man. And if you make it on this show, we send you something for free. So be sure yeah. to check your email. We're going to jump right into it. Let's do it. All right. Let's start yeah. off with this great name, Tiger. Tiger. I, yeah. I like it as a Clemson <laughs> fan. I knew you would. All right. So I have not seen these before. Right. So right out of the gate here, we got a fish on the back. Um, it's not piranha? just any fish. I believe that's a piranha. Okay, so it's an aggressive fish. <laughs> right. So we got a Riddell Speed Flex helmet. We've got a Sports Star chin strap. We got an Under Armour visor, uh, and we've Dude. got some fiery skulls, skull and crossbones, as well as fire skulls. Hey, yeah. Man. So this is interesting. So I'm going to go out on a limb here. To me, this has kind of youth written all over it. Right. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But we've got some football award decals, we've got some skull and crossbone decals, we've got th three or four different types of award decals. So that tells me that whatever this player is doing to earn those, he's doing different stuff. Yeah. Overall though, there's some things here that are going to get it some points. Yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. a good start. Yeah. I'm going to, what we're missing on the back though, Steve? American flag. American flag. It's all about America. Yeah. So I'm going to go with a 6.1. Okay. And I like the setup with the photos. I like the orange and blue play. I like mm -hmm. the Nike box hidden in the background there. It's in his locker. That's cool. We like it's the a story. Cool, I mean, for a field use helmet that's mm -hmm. being used and abused, it's, it's good. I, I, kinda, you know, I think that all those word decals, the way that they put on there, that would be something that would grow on me. Yeah. Oh, especially if, as a kid. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, good job, Tiger. Yes, that's right. Next up, Lorenzo. All right, Lorenzo. I, Steve, I know you like these photos, right? I very much like the photos. Yeah, you they're rough and tough. Got a little Arborvitae there. Got a little, maybe. Yeah. Got a little evergreen. We got I some. I don't nature. know anything about trees, but Steve's trying yeah, to teach me. Yeah, you do. So here's what I like about the hawks here. So the hawks on the back, I really like that. It's Same taking here. something that you, is not common to have some such a huge decal on the back, and you've got to move some some things around to make that work. So you obviously see the valve screw piece is that they had to cut a hole in the decal yeah. to get that in there. So that's work. You had to move the warning label, the American flag, anything else is on there. You see the number 13 off to the side. I'm assuming this is person, uh, Lorenzo is probably the quarterback. Yeah. Uh, if he's a 13, I guess he doesn't have to be. I also like Steve a lot the the eagle. So do I. The, he's got the, the tips of the wings almost touching when you look at it from the back so that the symmetry on this, which means a lot of effort went into getting these things placed just right. And I know you're normally not a fan of this, but I love that face mask, the black tape on it. <laughs> I am not a fan of it, um, but what I am a fan of is this helmet's doing a really good job and it's because of the, the way that the colors are placed in the decal to bring together the colors, the yep. white and the black. black. You got white and black in the decal, so you got a second and third color. Neither one of those is predominant over the other one, really, mm -hmm. in the decals. Obviously, the hawks in the back is all in white. I'm still going to give this guy super high marks because it's just a great combination of everything. And I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with an 8.7. Man, I yeah. love that score for that. Yeah, thank and you. Red's not even my favorite color. I know. I yeah. don't even know if it's a top five. <laughs> Okay, next up, Andrew. One photo, but it is a doozy. So you gotta have, have balls to throw out only one photo, because that means that you have such high confidence. That is right? money. Look at that setup. It's awesome. It was shot definitely with a phone on portrait mode because it didn't quite know what to do with the face mask there, but that's okay, I'll forgive you. Look at the setup. This is super intentional. Uh 
I don't know why, but when you pulled this up, for some reason, the, the first thing I thought was Cincinnati Bearcats. And there's nothing on here that indicates huh. that this would be the team. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it's the the, the mouth, I, I don't know, the mouth guard, the grill? I don't, I don't know. Mm. Um, but what we got here is we've got a matching chrome face mask and helmet. Looks fantastic. It, it's, it's really nicely done. Uh, I like the numbers on the side. I like the, it looks like we, I'm trying to see what type of chin strap this is. I can't tell, but it has some snaps that were put in. So that snap on the, the bottom, that was, you know, that hole was drilled in and that snap was put in there. Yeah. Uh, so, the, you know, and then the, snap, the strap lock was removed. We have an Adidas visor. I tell you what, man, this is super, super cool. They also look like some big boys in the background too. This is definitely uh, some big kids. Here's Maybe a, and, even and, adults. And here's the thing, from a photography standpoint, obviously this was an iPhone, yeah. Yeah. but for social media, it's awesome. this is a home run. Uh, I'm gonna go with a 7.9. Not bad. Next up, Noah C. And believe it or not, there are two Noahs in this week. All right, Noah C. Now, yes, it's kind of basic, but here's the thing. The um, dude made it wet, raindroppy. Inside. Inside. Okay, we'll give you some props for That's that, cool. Noah. Uh, <laughs> assuming that that was intentional and that it, this isn't, you know, sitting next to the toilet and just is getting splashed on. I hope, I hope so. <laughs> no, so I don't think so. <laughs> um, but we also see there's a couple of things on here that are that are unique as well. So yes, basic setup. This is Riddell yeah. Speed. This helmet's been out for like ten plus years now. But on the chin strap, we've got black clips yep. or buckles, black buckles. I like that. He cut the ends of the straps into a point. Yeah. That's not, that doesn't come out of the box like that. So I like that too. The Bulldogs and the Under Armour logo on the back of the helmet and the 32, that all looks uh, like those match. They kind of look like they might be thin stickers instead of like the thick decals. I don't know. I find um, it interesting is this 30 and 32. The 30 is in black. Yeah. So that maybe that's some kind of uh, memorial. Memorial, yeah. Yeah, for number 30. It's interesting stuff. And I mean, like, you know, it's pretty basic, but it was enough mm -hmm. to make the show. And then, cool. you've got, and then you've got the, the heart ribbon yes. on the back. I, I get it. You know, that's in pink. So that, mm -hmm. that's obviously what that means. Kind of clashes a little bit with the red. Yeah, it does. Reds and pinks, it's either the... It, it, Separate the colors. Yeah, it either works because it's done in a certain way, or yeah. it, it doesn't. Or it doesn't. What do you give Noah? Um, let's see. What do we give Noah? Noah? Noah's getting lots of points for just dumping water on his helmet <laughs> on the inside. So I'm going to go with a six point six. Oh, you're being so nice to Noah C. Yep, that's cool. All right, next up, Justin T. Nice Justin photos. T. Nice photos. All right, Justin. Nice face mask. Everything's nice. Did this come from us? <laughs> uh, it, it almost looks like this is uh, at the level that we crank stuff out. So here's what we got going on. Uh, you can go to the back picture again. So this is a Baker Mayfield CFP helmet. We've got the Big 12 logo, we got the six, we got the flag, we've got the CFP logo on there, we've got three bumpers on the front and the back. I love the reflection of that light. So do I. On the top of the helmet. I think that that was done on purpose. Yeah, because it was definitely shot at night, so the window is black, mm -hmm. and he's not in the reflection of any of them. That's not easy to do. Yeah, and he's got the correct face mask. Um, he's definitely, so Baker Mayfield, he definitely wore a shock visor. Uh, with Nike clips because they're Nike school. Mm -hmm. He's got all the bumpers in the right places. He's even got the he's even got the the, the mouth guard with l what look like tea, teeth prints yeah. in it. The one thing that I think is not correct is the chin strap because he wore a the camp edition, camp edition chin strap which uses a rivet to, in there instead of the splitter. Yes. But you can see, if you dig deep in there, it says Sooners on the chin strap on the side, just like they did, or they, they wore. And I could even be wrong about the chin strap, but it is do way it. up there. You know what? I'm going to do this. Give I'm, it to I'm, him. I'm gonna, i got to get up here. Okay. i got to pull ours off the wall. You know, but actually, uh, you we, know. The, we've modified this. Yeah, thing. this is not 
This is not the one that we built. Uh, I don't know what we did with that one actually, but this is a this is a different one. This has the this has the Camp Edition chin strap on it. Maybe you can show show that. And it's got the Shock 2.0 visor. Um, and so we've, but this is not the official Baker Mayfield helmet no. that we did. I don't know if we, we had it in there anymore. Anyway, see, I'm going to give this a pick. Nice, you get a free. It, it's not perfect. It's not. But it's so, I mean, so much work went into this thing. I, 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 I absolutely love it. And by a pick, that means you get a free t-shirt. Yes, yeah, so you're, so. you're going to get a code for a free t-shirt. We're going to email it to you, Justin, and then you just go click the link. Nice. Yeah. So <laughs> nice job. I, yeah. I, yeah, that one, a lot of time and energy went into that one. Piecing all of those things together to get that just right, that awesome. does not come out of the box like that. Good stuff. Next up, Richard. Oh, these are good pictures. Really good. <laughs> so this is cool. So He's showing off his balancing abilities. Yeah. So what we've got is <laughs> couldn't get the uh, cat to turn around. No. Cats. Freaking cats, man. They just they're so stubborn. They are. So here's here's what here's the story that I'm hearing here. So. Um, Name Richard. So Richard plays on a team that's called the Seminoles, uses the logo from Florida State, but on a gold helmet instead of the, the colors that Florida State wears. Uh, and I think that they're doing a damn good job. They're putting the, uh, the award decals on the front of the helmet. Yep. We've got Under Armour Visor that has gone and upgrade that. This is the, a Vengeance helmet. And then obviously, He's a Florida State fan as well, or he, or he wouldn't have that little guy. Yep, photos are cool, they're tough, they're industrial looking against the wood, he's got a nature involved, a little balancing act, he's got his little buddy on Very top. Cool. I love it with, with to see stuff like this. Yeah. Uh, good job, I'm gonna go Very with, good. I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of the Vengeance helmet. No, I know. It's not Shut's worst design. No, but I, it's... I'll, I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> it's not their best. But I don't hate it either. Uh, I'm gonna go with a 7.1. I think it's cool that the little guy helps it out. It does. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you need a mini me. Yeah, minis there. are okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So next up, another Noah. He tried. All right. He really tried. And Noah's, and Noah's got another mini. Yeah. I mean, super matchy matchy. I, I mean, and here's what's going on really nice with this is the color that this face mask is. This looks. A lot like a uh, color that we call San Fran Red. I don't know if it is or not. It's definitely not scarlet. It's, it's, an, it's either it's an unusual color or it's just the shadows and the coloring and the lighting and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, but I love it. And I, I'm not sure if he meant to have the shadows so dramatic. If you don't want those shadows, just put the light where the camera is. Because in this case, the light was down here, but you were up here. So the shadow, if you don't want those there, just move with it. But Or pull the... Or pull the helmets way far away from that uh, wall or whatever the back background is. Yeah, but it's good. It's good. It's a cool book. I like how the, the yes the, scene, the football there. What, what's that called? On the laces, the binding. The binding. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it too. And again, I think this is another one where the mini me helmet is going to help it out. And I don't think we need to talk too much about all the pieces no. and stuff. But I'm going to go with uh, six point five. Six point five. Okay. I'm in a range, tight range today, You really are, man. Next up, Elsid. All right, Elsid. Oh, my goodness. Look at how beautiful that backdrop is. I'm not really paying attention to the backdrop, but you are correct. <laughs> it is. I'm all about the helmet, and this helmet looks great, too. Yes. You know, we got a, uh, Ohio State with tons <laughs> of Buckeye leaves on here. <laughs> Covered. And I like the Nike visor with the... The, I don't know, it almost looks like a, a chrome. It's like a reverse knockout. Like yeah. where the check, the swoosh is knocked out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it is or if it's just a black right. check on there. Kind of hard to tell, but it looks like it's silver. It could be white, I guess, with just the shadow on there that makes it look like silver. We've got the 3D bumper. We've got the red sports star chin strap cup. We've got white buckles. Uh, we've got a bowl logo on the back. And a couple other things, I, I tell you, Steve. It's awesome. It's really, really good. Yeah, it is really good. And I mean, talk about taking a Vengeance helmet and making it look sexy. This might be the best looking Vengeance I've seen. Really. Could be. And the discipline. You know, you know what, Steve, I'm going to give this one a pick, too. Oh, my it's goodness. It's two in one day. It's been like two months. 
this deserves it 100%. Yeah, it's really nice. A lot, again, a lot of time and energy and effort went into this guy. That's and, awesome. And being able to get a Vengeance helmet to look this good deserves, <laughs> deserves a little extra credit. Wow, good for you, man. That's another t-shirt going out. It's been a like months since yeah. we've given one away. We got yeah. two and one Maybe on. I'm just in a good mood today. Maybe. Uh, next up, Owen. Another good job with the picture. Simple, but super clean, well done, gets the point across. Yes, yeah, so we've got black, obviously, white, and gold. Yeah, with that hot pink. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's literally like a hot poker. Yep. And it's it's shouting at you. I like that Same personally. Part. We've got cam locks on the on or the new cam lock system on this guy here. So this is a relatively new helmet. It's probably a season old or half a season old. Um, love those award decal placements. Yeah, I like. I love non-symmetrical designs. Yeah. It definitely has its place, and this is one of them. It just looks tough, kind of like mm -hmm. I'm coming at you, you know? Yep. You're going to be my reason for my next award. Yep. Yeah. 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 I, I, I agree. I, it'd be interesting to see what it looks like when it's got 30 yeah. of these guys Super on there. Cool. It's probably uh, difficult to get awards on this team, but we got nice numbers on one side and then obviously the logo on the other side. I think this is a cool design. Yes. These are nice pictures. Yes. Uh, Steve, on this guy, I am going to go with a... 6.8. Okay, that makes sense. I like it. I would have given it a little more of you, okay. but I'm okay. Uh, next up, Nico M. All right, Nico. Nico's rocking the two tone helmet with a bear paw, tiger paw, some kind of paw. It's a paw. Dog paw. Hmm. I like that it's not a, just a complete rip off of the Clemson tiger paw. It's a little bit different. Yes. For sure. Yes. And different. I know Clemson goes after yes. teams that. To just do a complete ripoff. They don't. They these, don't like that kind of stuff. These are nice pictures. Yeah, got a lot of nice bokeh. Yeah, nice paint job on that helmet too. Uh, this an, is a phone job or is it a picture? Is it it is. You can see here. It's got a little weird little aberration here and there. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Still great. Oh yeah. The the grass. I mean, is that? I don't even know if that grass is real. It looks. It's oh, it's not. It's turf. Yep. That's what I say. If it's real grass, it. It looks nice. That could very well be a high school. I know a lot of high schools, even in New Jersey, where I'm from, they were getting up there to having turf, you know? Yeah. That's awesome. Things on the back of the helmet are pretty simple. It's got the original warning label on it. I would get rid of that thing, put on uh, one of the warning labels that, you know, we sell them, but a lot of the teams uh, just get them with their decal yeah. setups. Uh, I would personally, on this design, I would go with a white letters on a clear. Yep. Uh, we got a little pink ribbon on there, so that was for obviously for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, most likely. Um, pretty simple in the back. We need another American flag. A lot of helmets were, were with no flags. I, I, I've always assumed that pretty much everybody does flags. Maybe we should give American flags away on this show instead of Green Green Iron. Mm, you know, maybe. Let us know. Leave a comment <laughs> below. Should we be giving away American flags when a helmet makes to the show or our Green Green Iron transfer logos? Might have to mix it up. The big thing about this helmet that's setting it apart is the paint job, yep. for sure. Um, and, you know, HS4 face masks, Rudell Speed helmets. Uh, relatively new, looks like a 2019 model, so it yeah. still looks clean and new and all that good stuff. Got an Under Armour chin strap on here. Um, I would take, you know, personally, I would throw a visor in there. I'm going to give this guy a 6.7. Consistent, Jay. Yep. You're consistent. With a, lot of, a lot of points for that paint job. Next up and last is Robert H. Oh, wait till you see this thing. Okay. So I'm waiting patiently. See. It's a mini. It's just too adorable. But this thing is proper, and the pictures are so intentionally composed. Here's what I love about the photos: is that you you know it's Penn. You can see the Penn State in the background without being able to read what it says. Exactly. He's picking the right. Is that aperture? Yeah, that's right. To be able to pull that off, and you got you got the plants. But did you did you notice this? He made a little horseshoe to make it look like a speed flex, and then he... Yeah, you know, th there's, there's a couple of guys out there the that are actually... Uh, it, they're, I think they call it a speed, a mini speed flex conversion kit, something like that, where they take a Riddell Speed helmet, they're making the face mask that, to look like speed, or speed flex face mask, and then they've got that horseshoe flex yeah. pattern just in a decal, and that's a decal there, too, that yeah. other um, it's pretty, spot. It's pretty amazing, honestly. I, I think that this is outstanding. 
It is. Yeah. It is. And overall, everything about it looks great too. Uh, and you got you got the Rose Bowl visor in there. <laughs> it's it's so good. I feel like this might be in Penn State's like a conference room somewhere. It does look like a conference room. It looks like yeah. we got two chairs back there. Somebody took the time, really took the time to set the chairs up in the plant and the, I I gotta do it, man. You gotta do it. I gotta give you a pick. You are getting a shirt. That's three in one three shirt. Shirts today. And I had a feeling. What the hell is going I, on? I a, Steve, I had a feeling you were going to break. I love it. Good, good work, Robert. Yes, yeah, so that's three picks. One day, I got three T-shirts going out the door. It's um, amazing. So I guess if you want a T-shirt, maybe Steve, you can leave a link below somewhere where they can go. And they can pick yes. up their own. We got a whole bunch of different colors and stuff. I can do that. And um, we got more merch on the way. At yes, some point. that's true. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for these submissions and keep them coming. This is episode twenty-eight. And we have no signs of slowing down. Yeah, man. we love seeing your stuff. Yeah. Uh, we hope you like having us dissect your your helmets and other people's helmets so you can see what the options are out there and see what other people are doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we like this one because we get to we, we just get to see what everybody else is doing. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. it's cool. It's yeah. cool. So listen, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.